Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just last week, I was posting one or two videos about a bug that was affecting um, the Windows Security app and Microsoft Defender. And quick recap regarding that bug. Um, it was regarding the local security authority protection, LSA protection, where Microsoft had confirmed that um, LSA protection was indicating that it was turned off, even though it wasn't, which was a bug and was asking you with a pers persistent restart message, orange warning, to restart your device. And I did post a workaround on that, and I'll leave a link to that a video down below. Now, unfortunately, once again this week, um, Microsoft has confirmed yet another bug um, regarding a Microsoft Def Defender that is causing issues. So I thought just to do a quick video to give you a quick heads up um, if you did experience this bug. Now, according to Microsoft in a recent tweet over on Twitter, and I'm quoting this, they say that they are investigating an issue where legitimate URL links are being incorrectly marked as, mal as malicious by the Microsoft Defender service. Additionally, some of the alerts are not showing content as expected. So basically, there's a bug and Microsoft Defender is um, marking and um, incorrectly marking some URL links as malicious where they are not. And once again, there is actually no malicious um intent it's just a bug that um, as mentioned the the actual service is marking those incorrectly and just wanted to let you know about it and at this stage though um the bug is mainly affecting corporations and enterprises with system admins where they are getting a lot of emails in regards to um the incorrectly marked um url links being marked as malicious but nonetheless um, i do know a lot of you do use uh, the windows security app and microsoft defender as your default um, security solution as 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 i do in uh, both windows 10 and 11 and just as mentioned wanted to give you a quick heads up and and um, this is ongoing so um, microsoft hasn't issued any workarounds or any fixes or anything in that regard but obviously um if any more info becomes available and there is a fix and a workaround i will obviously post and let you know so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one